Hey everyone, I'm Tony from the Swamp View crew and today I got a DaVinci Resolve tutorial for you. I'm going to make something that looks like this animating text along a path within DaVinci Resolve. This kind of simulates network data transfer, but that doesn't have to be your use case. You can put letters instead of the dashes as we're doing this tutorial. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and get on into the tutorial here. and. Right here, we have our timeline in DaVinci Resolve, and basically we want to do that same exact animation from the server to each one of these logos on the right-hand side, and we want that animation to occur over the course of from here to here. So um, with the clip selected that you want to create the animation over, let's convert that into a fusion clip by right-clicking and going to New Fusion Clip. And with that clip selected, go open the Fusion tab here, which looks like the magic wand. Now in here, make sure Media In is selected. Do Shift, Control, Space on your keyboard, and we want to type in Text and find the Text Plus element. We'll add that node to our uh, nodes layout here, and that automatically makes the connections for you uh, because we had Media In selected. So now with Text 1 selected, um, let's go ahead and type the text that we want to animate. So for me, it's just going to be the dashes. I want 100 dashes to simulate for the viewer 100 page speed tests. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and you can see them come up here 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So we now have text on a linear path, uh, which is just 100 dashes in this case. I want to make that color. We're going to go from here to here first, so we're going to make that color similar to the logo. We'll make it like a teal, bluish color, so that looks good. And um, that's it for this tab. Let's go over to the Layout tab, the second tab here. And instead of being uh, the layout being point, let's make it Path. And this gives us additional tools where we can kind of define the path that we want this to take. So go in the direction that you want the path to show up, so click from maybe the, the corner of the server up in that direction. We kind of want it to arc, so um, we'll have it arc somewhere around here and then back down, click and go towards your destination. So that looks good to me. And don't worry that it is uh, overlapping with your, your logos. Uh, we'll take care of that in a bit. So in general, the path is gonna start here, go along here and finish here. So. Um, let's go ahead and animate that. We can do that with a keyframe, so make sure our cursor is at frame zero here. Put a keyframe at the start, and we want to basically pull this all the way to where it intersects with our start point, or just before it. So again, we'll crop that out. We'll crop this whole part out in a bit, um, but that's basically where it's going to start. And then drag your timeline, your cursor, all the way to the last frame. Hit another keyframe, and make your position on the path just after the intersection with the logo, somewhere around here. Okay, so um, just so we know what the arc looks like, we'll bring this back here, and actually we can play it right now just to see kind of what it looks like. So that text is gonna move right along that path all the way down to the end. And it's, it's slow right now because it's not rendered out, but that's okay. Um, next thing, with text one selected, that node, do sh control shift space and we're going to crop this so it looks all nice. So let's add a crop element here and that's again going to put it in the proper order. So with crop selected, this is a tricky part. We want to first change, the, the, right now the size is the size of the, the frame right here. Um, 3840 by 2160. We want to make that smaller. So what I'd like to do is just move this along until kind of it lines up with where we want it to intersect. So somewhere along here, and it's just going to be horizontally aligned. So I'll show you, what, show you what I mean, like right here. That's kind of where we want it to end. It doesn't have to, to intersect with it right now. We just know that that horizontally is where it finishes. And then we want to change the X offset in the opposite direction. So you're going to see the same thing here. This is going to come up to where we want that to align on the left-hand side. So let's do that. And don't worry the fact that this is changing. We'll get it to, to look nice in the end. So that looks a little bit more. If it stops you at 1,000, you can go a little bit more, a little higher. 
that was too high so we'll come back down something like that and then we're going to play with x size again to finally bring that to where it should end and this time it looks like um, it's a little bit past but we can change that we can move around this whole element without changing the shape of it so because it's horizontally aligned with the start point and horizontally aligned with the end point or vice versa um, that's okay so let's click on our merge I element now and we can just simply move that into place because it's the the right shape here okay and um, if we need to we can tweak it but let's go back to our main timeline and see what that looks like we'll just hit the play and it, again it won't it won't uh, be smooth but it'll be because um, it's not rendered out yet as you can see by this blue line but we'll get the good idea here so let's go ahead and play that So yeah, that's that's in general the idea of what we're shooting for here. And by the last frame, that should be uh, mostly disappeared there. You can see it going in and disappearing. Um, I'll go ahead and do the other two arcs along the text path by myself. But if you guys have any questions about how to do this in DaVinci Resolve, um, specifically like this, like animating uh, data transfer, um, let me know in the comments below. Or if it's something more general, as far as just animating text along like a circular path or something else, um, I'll do my best to help you out. So thank you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you subscribe, I'll see you in the next video.